Lord discard ad, my friends. Thank you for dropping in with me on this martial arts journey. Uh, let's see. I got some pretty good sparring videos up. Um, posted those last night. Uh, jiu Jitsu versus Jiu Jitsu. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I tried narrating it. So it uh, didn't quite go as well. I just used a little headset microphone. And it was pretty quiet. And my computer desynced the timing, so it was all a little off, but um, at least it gives me somewhere to start from, and then I'll just try to work out the kinks, figure out how to get microphone that sounds better, uh, make sure the audio's in sync before I upload it, whatever. I'll, I'll figure it all out, but at least it's getting started somewhere, and it was, ended up being a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed watching the videos and going back through like all the different things I was thinking as I was moving through them. Um, well, sorry. So it was interesting to see, you know, the things we were doing, the way we were moving, and trying to roll against each other. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely look forward to doing more of that. Yeah, I'm going to try to get across the street here. There's an awful lot of cars for some weird reason. But, uh... Okay, there we go. It's crazy. But, uh... Oh, on the website, in the, under the pricing, I added an open map fee for anybody who just wants to come to whenever they can make it. Like, they can only make it certain days. And to them, it would might cost less than doing a... A uh, normal month payment so you can just come in pay the map fee and then come to any class you want for that fee um, per class or uh, What else? Oh, I added the uh, I also added a private class option So if you want an hour long private lesson in jiu-jitsu to really boost your training um, I put that on there as well because uh, Yeah, the details you can get learning one-on-one -on -one, so I have a whole lot more than in a group class and we can work on what you need to work on specifically so uh, it's just another option out there for anybody who might want that now or in the future um, so that's that's what I'm really enjoying instead of just being static putting something up and leaving it you know constantly evolving it's dynamic uh, adding changing editing discarding and just trying to make it better all the way around uh, in any way I can. So I'm really liking everything that's been going on, uh, not only with the club, but uh, with the website as well and all the online things that I've been doing. So, uh, yeah, pretty tired today, pretty low energy. I'm um, heading off to Kempo right now. Um, it's very hot. <laughs> Especially because of my job, I work outside, and in the heat and the humidity, being from Pennsylvania, this is quite a bit much, but uh, definitely burning out my energy. But uh, every time I get to the, either Kempo or especially when I'm doing the Kokodo Jitsu Club, you know, it's just like all that energy in the world just floods right through and I always feel a lot better so, uh, even on the worst days and on, after doing the uh, dynamic warm-ups and movements and joint mobility exercises and mindfulness meditation then I always feel really amazing so yeah I love being in having uh, classes formed around the ideas that I have uh, with the mindfulness and the joint mobility as opposed to static stretching, uh, the openness of the classes, being open to all sorts of martial arts and martial artists. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, can't wait for it to grow. Uh, hopefully I can just figure out a way to open up more classes. You know, I have some people who are interested but can't make it because of the time of day. That's always going to happen no matter what, though. But, uh, 
hoping to just be open more, have more days of the week, more times of the day, and just do this all the time. I keep saying that, but yeah, it's always on my mind. So when I'm doing a vlog, that's what you'll hear. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's just, I want to do this all the time. I'm tired of working and it's really draining my energy. It's bumming me out anymore. It just gets worse each day. And so, but anyways, yeah, uh, tomorrow, Friday, uh, should be doing some different video and picture, hopefully with the, with Aikido. Not exactly sure what again, but, uh, at least some Aikido. I don't know if we're going to add jujitsu into it at all, but, uh, Either way, it'll be a lot of fun, so looking forward to that tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it for now, and uh, have a good day, guys. I just thought of something else I wanted to mention. The uh, idea of studying and learning on your own before class, after class, whatever. Um, so I, I always post on meetup.com and on Facebook events uh, the... Uh, class that we're having coming up and what we'll be learning it's you it's one ground technique and one standing technique per class and if you and of course you don't have to but if you take the uh, um, time to on your own look at what class is coming up next find the find some videos or some tutorials or anything like that and get a general idea of what they, the techniques are beforehand, then when you come to class, you'll be, it'll be a lot quicker, a lot easier to learn. It won't be such a struggle, perhaps. Um, especially because we have uh, online curriculum of exactly what we're doing available. So you can study and get every single little detail ahead of time. You can get all the technique, all the details, all the little nuances, everything all ingrained in your mind and set up just by watching it a couple times even once is great but if you watch it two three times you know, you'll have it all the way there and then all, when you get to class all you'll have to do is just practice it on somebody feel it for yourself and it makes learning exponentially faster uh, so that's one major benefit we have by having all the entire curriculum available online in video format uh, you can do that on your own and I'm bringing this up because uh, yesterday I taught the uh, elevator hook sweep from the guard from the ground and the standing technique uh, was the rear takedown so it was a lot to explain there especially with the rear takedown but uh, so we took an, a little over an hour to get all that through for the people learning it and then uh, Sam, sorry, somebody was going through, but uh, Sam was doing Aikido during class, so she wasn't joined in with the Jiu-Jitsu. However, she did watch the videos beforehand and kind of had a general idea and remembered some stuff. So after class was over, Sam asked if uh, we could quickly run over the Jiu-Jitsu techniques so she could at least try them out. And I thought, yeah, well, we'll have to hurry, uh, this and that. But it literally took about five minutes. Five minutes to learn and practice and get correct to a pretty decent level. The elevator hook sweep on the ground and the rear takedown from standing. And she did really awesome. And so a little over an hour versus five minutes. That was a big difference. And it was really amazing to see. I couldn't believe she actually remembered that many details or... You know, I just had to run through the general idea and the, the basic principles of the, the stuff and she remembered all the other little nuances or the other things and was able to just get it figured out really quick. So, um, that's the only reason I'm bringing this up is, again, it's not something you have to do because I, I'll gladly go over all the details. It helps me, helps me get them ingrained in my head so I can help teach them better in the future and learn them better myself by helping other people who have different body types and all that and help them try to figure out how to do the things it certainly helps me so I don't mind it but uh, if you do want to speed up your own learning a lot a whole lot then uh, I can certainly recommend every time I post 
what class is coming up, what techniques you're going to be learning, just give them a quick little overview. Get a little jump start on it. Um, so that's a, a solid recommendation, I'd say. Um, do that. Um, but yeah, if you just, if you, you want to just come to class and learn in class and when you're done with class, just not even think about jujitsu. A lot of people are like that. That's totally fine. Not me. I can't stop thinking about it all day, every day. It was, ugh. <laughs> um, but you certainly don't. I'm not saying you have to have homework now. Now you have to go home and do even more work. It's not it at all. But uh, just a little, uh, not a little tip. It's a really big tip if you want to exponentially boost your learning and get there. Uh, to understanding the principles and the concepts and the techniques a lot quicker definitely do that do some uh, studying on your own and again especially because we have the whole entire curriculum with all the details from fourth and fifth degree black belts um, sharing every little detail and trick and tip that they've learned through teaching it through many years you can just go watch them do the whole thing and then when you get to class you'll be like yep 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 and then boom just do it <laughs> Get to, just got to practice it on a body to make sure you got it for yourself. So, all right. Just wanted to get that out. And uh, that'll probably be it for today. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. It's getting kind of hard to keep thinking of things. I can think of a lot of things to talk about, but they're usually with like different arts, different systems. Um, or stuff that I don't really know where to fit in. But, uh, you know... Just keep doing it just keep tweaking and tweaking on it figuring out how to sort it all out and uh, you know, hopefully just keep trying to get these vlogs on there because i feel like uh doing the vlogs is good for myself it helps get my thoughts recorded but i think it could be really good for some people in the future it's just hard for me because i've been doing this for so long doing martial arts for so long it's hard for me to remember exactly what it was like to be a beginner um, what questions I had, things like that, so it's hard to know what to talk about um, precisely, but uh, you know, having fun doing it and uh, gonna keep trying, so alright, have a good day guys.